La 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 la. El Fresco is the greatest pizza pie maker in all the world. I'm showing the Winnie Caesar's pizza pie making a contest tomorrow. You're gonna get a shoe in the face if you don't win and get me out of this dump. Don't worry, Antipasto. When I win in the contest, I'll be made official pizza pie maker to Caesar himself. <laughs> and we'll be rolling in the door. Good. Then I'm gonna go to bed and dream about spending a lot of lira. Wait for me. I'll tuck you in while my pizza finishes a cooking. <laughs> My Smurf, I'm afraid we've missed home again. Well, I'm sure glad I didn't miss this home cooking. This is the best red sauce I've ever tasted. Come on, let's find the others before some human finds us. Hurry, my little Smurfs. How are we going to get down? I have an idea, Papa Smurf. Good work, Andy. Greedy, let's go. Greedy! I'm coming, Papa Smurf. I just wanted to taste a little more of this delicious... Whoa! Let's go. Papa and Greedy are coming next. Hi, Smurf, what's happening? Look out, he's falling! <laughs> Greedy! Mmm, that was delicious. Now it's a time for my favorite job. Quick, hide my little smurfs. To taste the pizza! Bella, bella! Mmm! My piping hot pizza pie is the best in the world. Mmm! Magnifico! But perhaps a pinch more garlic in my next pie. Good thing I keep plenty of garlic in my storage room. Greedy, come down. The coast is clear. I'll be right down, Papa. Right after I finish this smurferific pizza. <laughs> now I make one more taste of pie before the can taste it tomorrow. Huh? Hey! <laughs> This next pizza will be the best. Hurry, let's duck into that room before the human sees us. Oh, this pizza pie is gonna win the contest and make us rich. <laughs> well, what do you think, Scampi? She's a good, no? <laughs> Tell me how it is, or I'll turn you into a catatonic. <laughs> Uh, what do you know? You're nothing but a dumb cat anyway. What's a genius chef like me, the great Gargon's Hall, I supposed to do? Gee. Now, who makes the best pizza in town, eh? Exacto mundo. Now, what if I switch the pizza ingredients with Al before the contest? Who do you think would win then? You meet them all for brains. Oh, yeah. So, tonight, after Al is asleep, we just tippy toe across the street and make the switch. Then tomorrow morning, we win the contest and get showered with riches. <laughs> I'm afraid we'll have to spend the night in here. But tomorrow, we'll look for a safer place to assemble the crystals. That's okay by me. That chef's about to make another one of his smurf castings. That may be, Greedy, but I forbid any Smurf from interfering with these humans. Do I make myself clear, Greedy? Uh, crystal clear, Papa Smurf. But I'd give anything for another slice of that pizza. Horny horn toads, Greedy. You have everything you need to make your own pizza right here. Everything but an oven. Hey, that Smurfs me an idea. Oh, that pizza sure was Smurfalicious, but I couldn't eat another bite. Don't worry, Hefty, there isn't any left. Handy, this oven you and Hefty built works great. 
Time for bed, my little Smurfs. It's late and we have a big day ahead of us tomorrow. Now, my pizza was good, but his pizza was great. If I can only get a hold of his recipe. I don't think Papa will mind if I just take a peek at his recipe. I think I'll make a Smurf-sized pizza to go. Someone's coming. I better smurf out of here. Hey, come on, now to make the switch. This is like taking pepperoni from a baby. I should wake this guy up. But Papa said not to interfere with the humans. And the Amos Campi, we have a contest to win. <laughs> Mamma mia! Uh, what's the matter for you? Wake up! We don't have all day. <gasps> the contest? What time is it? Am I late? That it depends. You got your ingredients already? Well, sure. Then you got plenty of time to get to Caesar's Palace and cook your pizza in his oven. Oh, Caesar likes his pizza hot. Now, I'm going to go get dibs on a contestant booth and wait for you to come. I just can't let Al lose the contest when his pizza's really the best. Oh, Caesar's going to love my piping hot pizza. Hey, Al! What's it is? A talking blue cheese ball. I'm not a cheese ball, I'm a Smurf. And those pizza ingredients are bad. Everybody's a critic. Al Fresco is the greatest pizza chef in all the world. Last night, this guy with a hat came in and switched your ingredients with his. What? You mean that a meatball brain gargonzola took my ingredients? Boy, it's a true. How am I gonna win in a contest? We'll just have to make another batch. There's no way to cook more and get it to Caesar's ovens in time. But if we cook together, we could go a lot faster. What do you know about cooking? Why, I'm the greatest Smurf chef that ever lived. Molto bene. Let's get cooking. Maybe there's a still a chance to win. Perfecto! My special pizza switcheroo! She's a sure winner, eh, Scampi? Ah! Oh, time is short! Where is my L? Uh, maybe he's afraid of losing the contest to the great Gargonzola, eh? <laughs> oh, you two better shut up, or I stuff your nose holes full of garlic. Capture Canary! I found Greedy and he's in trouble! Vinito! She's a beautiful pizza pie, no? No, I mean yes! Hey, you big meanie! You leave Greedy alone! Unhand that Smurf! What's it is? Some more Smurferonis! Those are my friends! Uh, hiya, Papa! Greedy Smurf! What did I tell you about interfering with humans? Don't be mad. Your great <laughs> chef, Greedy, helped me make the greatest pizza pie in the world. Too bad Caesar won't be able to taste it. Those bells mean the contest has already started. Can't we just cook the pizza here and rush it over to the contest? Even the fastest chariot could not get it there in a time. Anyway, Caesar, he hates a cold pizza. I got it! If Handy can attach my pizza oven to Al's chariot, then the pizza can cook on the way to the contest. Well, what do you think, Papa Smurf? I think we have no choice. But to hurry if we're going to help Al win that contest. Thank you, thank you! Oh, she's a beautiful! Oh, thank you! But don't try it to cheer me up. I'm gonna kill Al. Eh, uh, piping hot pizza, just like he ordered my little Caesar. Uh, well? Well? Ah, I love this pizza, see? Now, the winner of the Royal Pizza Making Contest is... <laughs> 
wait just a minute, please. I have one more pie for you to try. Oh, it's my L. I've already chosen the winner. Besides, I like my pizza hot, say. And I ain't got the time to wait for another one to cook, say. But I cooked the pie on my way over here in my portable pizza oven. <laughs> Let him try. I'm sure he used an interesting mix of ingredients, eh? Ah, <laughs> oh, deliberate heart, eh? Okay, slide me a slice of that pie. Ah, oh, well, this one's even better than the last one, see? You're the winner, oh, baby. Not only do you make the best pie, see, but you can deliver it hot, too. Yeah. Oh, that's my boy. This isn't fair. I should get what I deserve. Yes, it's curtains for you, see? Dungeon curtains. Take them away. Mommy! Mm, I'm sorry I disobeyed you, Papa Smurf. I guess it's all right this time, Greedy. Besides, I think we all agree that your effort was in very good taste. A very good taste. Yeah! <laughs> Yes, Papa Smurf, that was my softest landing yet. <laughs> Very funny, clumsy. Look at that Smurfy place. I wonder who lives there. Come here at once. Obviously, someone with a very loud voice. Oh, we better do what he says. I wonder what he wants with us. I said come here. Time to stop wondering and start moving. He sounds like he means business. No, I won't go. You can't make me. Come here. So, he wasn't calling us. Maybe not. But why is that old meanie after that kid? Phew, I'm just glad he isn't after us. I've got you now. Leave the boy alone, Sue. <laughs> Let's scram out of here, Peggy! Violet and ponies! Will you smurf a look at that? Oh, I was so worried my little man got a boo-boo. Oh, Mom! Rats! We've got rats on Mother and Rats! Hey, let me go! Talking blue rats at that! We're not rats! We're Smurfs! Don't you know anything? I am Zeus! All-seeing, all-thinking, all-knowing! Oh, fool of yourself! If you knew anything, you'd know not to be so mean! He's a person too, you big meanie. Well, I think I'm Yeah, you big meanie. <laughs> so, until we can arrange the crystals in their proper order, I'm afraid we'll be lost in time. Hmm. That's an interesting story. But speaking of time, Hermie? Uh, yeah, Pop? Well, my son. Don't you think it's about time you began your quest? But I, I don't want to go on any quest. It's not a matter of what you want to do, Hermie. It's what you must do. Really, Zeus? Is a quest necessary? Hera, you of all immortals should know that before our son can take his place among the gods, he must prove himself with a quest. Am I right, fellow gods? A god must 
Robot's quest alone. Ah, the God rule book only says that a god must quest without the help of another god. And Hermes' little blue friends don't look like gods to me. I'm sorry, Hera, but our quest is to return to our village. We must stay together if we're to have any chance of ever assembling these crystals and returning home. Ah, say no more. If you help my son complete his quest, my husband will reward you by arranging your crystals in their proper order. I will? I will! Oh, my God. 
something that looked like a magic shield over in uh, Dragon's Tooth Canyon. Dragon's Tooth Canyon? Gee, how are we going to know when we reach Dragon's Tooth Canyon? 
Did I ask that? Smurf my whiskers. There's what we're looking for. Well, what are you waiting for, Herbie? An invitation? Go get the shield and let's get out of here. But it, it looks spooky in there. Jenner and Jellyfish, I'll get that old shield for you, Hermie. I can't let her go alone. Come on, troops. We're all in this together. I was afraid he'd say that. <laughs> Oh, it is magic. Can't you see how it brings out my smurf's exquisite natural coloring? Better grab it, Sonny. The sooner we get out of here, the smurfier. Uh, uh. 
Now you'd better rest up until your burn heals. Oh, ah, I'm sure the other Smurfs won't mind taking care of you until you're feeling better. Ow! I, Garkotep, should be getting the royal treatment instead of this flea-bitten feline. I, Scroopsies, know what you mean. <laughs> yeah, Pharaoh Azra is a royal pain, but he's top cat in this dusty desert. your royal finickiness. I pureed that papyrus myself. <laughs> Drat! Who told those worthless workers they could take five? Don't those fools know that Pharaoh Azra rules with an iron claw? Yo! Now they do. What's the hold up, you lazy laborers? Sorry, O oh, Taskmaster of Terror, but we've run out of stone blocks, and it'll take weeks to get more. Weeks? How? Oh. Azra will have our hides if his pyramid isn't finished on schedule. <laughs> Saved by my own genius. We'll just steal the stone blocks from that old pyramid to build Azra's. You must have blocks in your head. That's the tomb of the dreaded moon eyed mummy. <laughs> Only madmen mess with mummies. Ah, you've been reading too many hieroglyphics. And as for you, desert deadbeats, you better start dismantling that pyramid or else! You're making a monstrous mistake. Come, simpering subordinate. I'll prove there's nothing to be afraid of. You see, Scroopsies, this mummy is merely a lifeless bag of rags. Yeah, well, I'd rather not get chummy with a mummy, if you don't mind. Hmm, this ruby ought to get me in good with that furball pharaoh. Stop! W what are you doing? No! Whoa! Don't be a fool! That mildewing <laughs> mummy doesn't need this ruby anymore, but I do, to bribe that cantankerous cat! Hey, wait for me! Mer, if that burnt out briny gives me one more order, I will brine the briny smurf. I hate the briny smurf. Uh, it is a wise smurf who knows the true value of me. Brainy smurf. Oh, if I have to read another one of Brainy's boring quotations, I'll need bed rest. Greedy, how could you? Could I what? I was just gonna eat one little grape. Greedy, greedy, greedy. How could you deprive a sick smurf of his nourishment? But, Brainy, I've been so busy feeding you, I haven't eaten all day. Oh, the pain is getting worse. Oh, oh, woe is me. All right, you can have the stupid grape, you pampered pest. <laughs> That's more like it. Now, where are those extra pillows I asked for? Say, these pillows feel kind of lumpy. <laughs> these pillows aren't lumpy. They're lazy. Lazy? You're supposed to be waiting on me, not sleeping on me. <laughs> You are right, Gargotep. That ruby sure bought us some time off. Off our feet and down on our hands and knees. Nuts! That's the last time I peel for a prize for that ungrateful fur bag. You should have left it on that moldy mummy, like I said. Oh, go soak your head. Ah! <laughs> 
I sure hope we hit water soon, because His Majesty Brainy has just about drunk our water supply dry. Oh, gosh. And he's eating all our food, too. Oh, no. I'm so hungry, I can barely smurf straight. Huh? Where'd that humongous muffin come from? Muffin? Did you see a muffin? Where? 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 Right here. Yuck. This muffin's so stale, it's as hard as a rock. That's because it is a rock, Greedy. Uh, gosh, Greedy, if you like eating rocks, I got loads of yummy ones. Gee, I must have seen a muffin mirage. Smurferoski, this desert sun can really play tricks on you. Good thing we've got these umbrellas. I hope they taste as good as they look. Come on, you three whippersnappers. We'd better find some grub quick. Yeah, we better get going before Greedy starts eating our straw sandals. Hmm, yeah, I am so. Smurfs, Moogle. for Gargamel and Scruple. Could they be their ancestors? Ooh, gives me goose smurfs just to think about it. Well, if they're anything like their rotten relatives, we better hightail it out of here or our smurf will be cooked. Nice of you to drop around. Ooh. Hurry, this way. <coughs> Looks like you lost them again. Wrong, Sandbrain. I assure you those brazen blue bugs will be back momentarily. <laughs> it's okay, Smoogle. We're safe now. Uh, Hefty, Smoogle's over here with me. He is? Then whose furry arms are these? <laughs> what took you so long? <laughs> D 
Didn't you like it in the tomb of the living tarantula? <laughs> These tiny toilers is tiring work. Ah, oh, keep your robe on, you two-bit taskmaster! Yeah, we're toiling as fast as we can! Yikes! <laughs> I guess we can toil a teeny bit faster, right, Hefty? You bet, Greedy. Whoa! <laughs> and I want to block up there by the time I get back, or you'll all be pyramid paste! <laughs> I'll get those blockheads for this! Oof! I'm going to enjoy feeding those belly-aching blue runts to the Pharaoh Azla! Ugh, that bossy brainy is really starting to get on our nerves, Papa Smurf! And he's got those down the last of our water! Coco, I am tired of fluffing his pillow! And I'm just plain tired. <laughs> Try to be patient, my little Smurfs. We're all very hot and thirsty. Not anymore! My handy Matic well digger just hit a real gusher! Come on, the water's great! Yay! Oh, Smurfette, I'm thirsty. Yoo-hoo! Painter, my pillows need fluffing. Hmm. How does the sunburned Smurf get any service around here? Oh, what's up? Uh, uh, who's that howling? Oh, I g g guess it's nothing but the wind. <coughs> Yikes! <coughs> but those nasty vultures aren't nothing. I think I'd better fly this coop. Oh, ouch, no! I'm all ouch alone. They must have gone off to look for food. How could those... Ow, ouch! Insensitive smurfs... Oh, ouch! Leave without me. Oh, ow! Oh! One, but I wonder why those scaredy cats ran away. Let's see, shall we stuff them with dates or season them with sesame? All this talk about food is making me hungry. But you won't have to worry about that for long. In a moment, we'll be pharaoh food. Oh, oh. I wonder what's going on down there. Hey, Emery Smurf, it's me, Brainy. Now, where do those wigged out workers think they're going? Oh, no! It's the Moon Eyed Mummy, and he's come to get his revenge! Well, tickle my tootsies. It's Brainy Smurf. Turn back, Brainy! For Scroopsies! <laughs> Sounds like they're excited to see me. Here I come! Oh! Help! Help! Wait a minute! Whoa! That's no mummy! It's just another little dummy! Hey! You look just like Garga! Nah. Nice going, Scroopsies. Ouch! Ouch! I hope you're enjoying being a matching dinette set. So, you decided to join us for dinner, eh, Brainy? Very funny, Hefty. You might have warned me that we're the main course. Just my luck, that flea bag Pharaoh's having a food frenzy. <laughs> Smurf, 
patootie. Uh, looks like our number's up. Gee, doesn't a condemned Smurf even get a last meal? You and your mummy mumbo jumbo. Now we're the only ones left to wait on this cranky cat. Well, you can bet I'll never mention that mum 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 mummy. I'm getting out of here. Smurf and Rusky, let's get that out of here. You never quit, do you? When I get through with you, you'll be calling for your mummy. <laughs> it gets, it's the real mummy. <laughs> Looks like that rock was a little too hot to handle. Oh, golly, I'm sure glad that mean-looking mummy wasn't after us. Ahem. Well, it looks like once again I, Brainy Smurf, have saved the day. How do you figure that, Brainy? Oh. Oh. Well, if I hadn't come along when I did, you Smurfs would have been kitty chow by now. And this should make a fitting medal of bravery to mark my heroic feat. Yeah! Smurf the Rusky, you're gonna need some real heroics if you don't get rid of that mummy's medallion. Ha! There's nothing I, Brainy Smurf, can't handle. Uh, that's good, Brainy. Because he's back! <laughs> <laughs> I hope you know what I'm doing. Okay, Brenny, now throw down the medallion and run out. Run in, run out. Make up your mind already. Whoa. Now, you young'uns, get ready to shove this door closed when Brenny comes running out. Brenny, where are you? It's nice to be in demand, but this is ridiculous. Help! Time for Brainy to cut his ties to Mummy. Okay, Lipper Smurfers, close the door. Gosh, are you all right, Brady? Um, I, uh, guess so. I mean, well, it looks like I wrapped things up around here again. You Smurf should have seen me take care of that. <laughs> Smurf a diddle. I'd like to propose a toast to Pharaoh Azra for this Smurflicious chow. Yeah, just feast your eyes on all this food. Oh, I'd rather feast my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Blanc de Blanc, these grapes are magnifique. They belong in one of my master pizzas. If you ask me, Painter has grapes on the brain. <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, looks like he's not the only one. Goodbye, you hate grapes on the brain. <laughs> Aren't they magnificent, Painter? Mm, not bad. The heroic Ego Maximo. Gee, these must be statues of famous heroes. I hate statues of famous heroes. Oh, don't worry, Grouchy. No one would ever make a hero statue of you. On the other hand, I, Brainy Smurf, hero extraordinaire, would be a perfect candidate for a statue. Oh, yeah, sure. That'll be the day. 
Well, one thing's for sure, I'd certainly make a more heroic-looking statue than Grouchy. Not even Painter could make him look like a hero. Art Deco, I accept the challenge. I hate the challenge! Um, speaking of challenges, could someone help me down from here? Huh? Ah, save you, Brady! When I am Finny, Grouchy's statue will look like the greatest hero of all time. Ooh, I hate the greatest hero of all time! But perhaps without the grip stands. I will transform this ordinary marble into a Grouchy Master Pizza. Oh, you will love it, Grouchy. I will hate it! I call it Grouchus Smurfus. Oh, Grouchy, I never knew you could look so apt to Smurfly heroic. Uh, Smurfette's right. Let's see how it looks with the other statues. Oh, regard! Be careful! How do you like it, Grouchy? I hate it! Maldemir! I have never been so insulted! Really, Grouchy, if you want to know what I think, I... I hate if you want to know what I think. Got to think of it, I hate what all of you think. Hmm. Brainy Smurf isn't gonna stick around and be grouched at. Yeah! Me neither! Let's go! I hate angry Smurfs. But I kind of like this statue of me. <sighs> Biggest Mouthicus hungry after his anapa. I hate walking home alone. Huh? What's a that? It's a lookalike and a walking and talking a grape. Yumma, yumma, yumma. <clears throat> Oof! Got you! Huh? Oh, I guess I must be imagining things. I'm a just the love of crunchy grapes. Blah. Hey, what the hell are we here? Oh, me? Mamma mia, who are you? It says here that I'm Grouchy Smurfus. Are you a great hero like me, Ego Maximo, or my good friend here, Federico Pedocini? Or the incredibly brave, if not so bright, Pete Pepperonius? Yo, Grouches, you's a gotta be a hero to hang out with us, you know what I mean? Basta, Fazul! For once, Pete Pepperonius is right! Well, how can I tell if I'm a hero? Have you ever defeated a den of a hungry lion with a one hand tied up behind your back? Excuse, or rescue the bella damsella in a distress from a runaway chariot? Hmm? Have you ever been a contender? Uh, I just don't know, but I'm gonna find out. Day or night, you can't come back until you can prove you're a real hero like us. Oh, I would love to prove that I belong. How's my portrait coming, Painter? The smile, she is a bit off. I hate she is a bit off. Well, if you ask me, making grape juice is a hopping lot of... Oh. Glad to see you've come to lend us a hand, uh, foot. I hate lending you a hand, uh, foot, but I will. Why don't you take a load off your feet and try my Smurfistroni soup? Oh, it's delicious! That's one of the soups of rotten Smurfistroni. Oh, I hate rotten Smurfistroni. Nothing like a garlic bread to spice it. Uh-oh! I take it back. You are a hero, Grouchy. You saved me from the garlic. I hate saving you. You'd better hurry up if you want to try my soup. Mmm, I'd love to try your soup. Mmm, 
Oh, I love this soup. He loves my soup. Wonder what smurfed into him. Uh, gosh, maybe he's sick. Oh, what a beautiful painting of a beautiful signorina. I just love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Hi, Smurfs, Grouchy. What made you change your tune? I hate changing my tune. <laughs> Golly, I must be seeing double. I hate seeing double. Venus de Milo, it is Grouchy Smurfus, my statue. I knew it was lifelike, but this is amazing. Where'd you say you got this marble? At the circle of the famous heroes. smurf rooney I've heard tell of a circle of magic statues. Legend has it they come to life by the light of the moon. You must have chiseled the statue out of magic marble. Are you a hero? That's <laughs> 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 rich. The closest Grouchy's ever come to a hero is eating one of my Smurfy hero sandwiches. Well, I can't go back to the Circle of Heroes until I prove myself worthy. Oh, that shouldn't take long. Only two or three thousand years. <laughs> I guess you'll just have to stay here with us, Grouchy Smurfus. Oh, I'd love to stay here. I'd hate you to stay here. Hi, Grouchus. <laughs> have a nice day. I hate have a nice day. And I hate having this stupid statue following me, even if he is a smurf after my own heart. I hate running myself ragged, but it's worth it to lose that meddling marble me. Oh, a boy! Another blue a grape! Yumma, yumma, yumma! Oof! Tougher, but not a bad. Uh... Where's your statue, Grouchy? It's so refreshing the way he loves everything. I hate the way he loves everything, but I love the way I lost him. Oh, Grouchy, are we heroes yet? Hi, Grouchy! Oh, sorry, no time to chat. Uh, we're off to be heroic. Are you sure this will make me a hero? Um, uh, sure. Um, anyone who gets an olive branch from the tip top of a mountain gets to be a hero. Well, then here goes. And away I go. Smurf a Rooney, Grouchy. Get yourself an olive branch and roast some Smurf Mallows. I hate Smurf Mallows, but I love getting you an olive branch to roast some Smurf Mallows. Are we heroes yet? Eagle, what in the world are they up to? Beats of me, Will Parmigiano. I'll be happy to play hide and smurf if it'll make me a hero. I hate making you a hero. <laughs> are we heroes yet? <laughs> I almost hate to say it, but I think I really lost them this time. Mamma mia, it's uh, my lucky day. Another delicious uh, grape. Uh-oh, I hate another delicious uh, grape. I'll save you. I got it, you. Huh? Uh, where did the pail of grape come from? Run, Grouchy! Come back! Yikes! Uh-oh! I hate uh -oh. And I really hate this. Now that's what I call a heroic deed. Hey, Grouchy! Are you all right? What's going on? <gasps> oh, dear. What happened to Grouchy? He saved me from this big-mouthed ogre. Looks like we better get going before he comes, too. But we can't just leave Grouchy. I hate leaving Grouchy. He's a really a great hero now, like me. Yep, he's earned his right to hang out with us heroes, you know what I mean? Look, Grouchy, your statue is standing with the famous heroes. But that certainly doesn't make Grouchy a hero. 
Ah, fiddle smurfs, Brainy. That statue's not all that different from Grouchy at heart. He just expressed himself a little differently. I hate expressing myself a little differently. We know, Grouchy, we know. Come on, Smurfs. I've just got the magic crystals just about ready. So let's Smurf out of here. So long, Grouchus. Smurf Village? It seems I failed again, my little lost Smurfs. I'm afraid I may never find the right combination for these time crystals. Oh, I know you will, Papa Smurf. Sure, you just need a little time. And we couldn't have picked a more perfect spot, Papa. From the looks of things, I'd say we've landed on the legendary Emerald Isle. And the legends tell of hidden dells filled with enchanted shamrocks. And that's where the mischievous leprechauns first came from. <laughs> Gosh, do you think we'll get to see an original leprechaun, Brady? Clumsy, you are the original Smurf sap. Can't you tell when Grandpa is pulling your leg? Leprechauns, gotcha! Yay! A leprechaun's after me! I bet I am! <laughs> uh, Gosh, that's no leprechaun. That's Jokey. Look the loop. And he's wasted all my green paint on his silly disguise. Ha! I knew it all along. I, Brainy Smurf, would never fall for a goofy get-up like that. You did now! <laughs> Come on, Smurfette! Sure hope I cook the potatoes long enough this time. Gee, don't wait for me, because I'm not waiting for you! Potatoes, potatoes, potatoes. Really greedy. We've had these dull spuds for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Mm. Oh, the tail. I have to agree. The soup de jour is soup de boring. Uh, sorry, but potatoes are the only things I can find around here. I'm out of here. Better luck at breakfast, guys. I hate breakfast, guys. Well, I'm not wild about these spuds either, you know. Ooh. Maybe I can find something different. Mm. Uh, there's just got to be more growing on this Emerald Isle than potatoes. Aha! Uh -huh. I'll bet this is something smurfy to eat. Yes, it's a big, big potato! Yay! Wow! This must be my lucky day! Mm. Mm. These shamrocks smell good enough to eat. At last, the potato famine is over! Those finicky smurfs won't be complaining when they dig into this delicacy. Hmm, shamrock stew, slow simmered all night. Every smurf will be standing in line for a taste. But first come, first served! Oh. Mmm, delicious! Oh, oh my gosh! Uh, 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 what's going on? I feel funny! Ah, I'm turning green! No! Hey, I feel like having to be a little leprechaun fun! <laughs> Aha! Now here are some little people I can play me leprechaun tricks on! Nothing like an early morning workout. Aye, but you need a bit more ways, me lad. <laughs> hey, smurf me out of here. Oh, Smoogle, I miss my flower garden so. I wish I had one here. Oh, it's so beautiful. 
How did you do that, Greedy? <laughs> hey! Where'd you get your leprechaun costume, Greedy? I wish you little people would stop calling me by that silly name. Don't you know a real leprechaun when you see one? <laughs> yeah, sure. Want a surprise, Mr. Leprechaun? For me? Why, I have one for you, too. Thanks. <laughs> but you open yours first. Oh, that's mighty courteous of you, laddie. Oh. Why, thanks, me lad. Hey, that wasn't supposed to happen. <laughs> and that's not funny. Neither is impersonating a leprechaun. <laughs> One of these is I do. <laughs> Yourself! <laughs> Golly, Grandpa, I'd sure like that Smurfy Green Rock for my collection. Grandpa, Grandpa Smurf! Smurf. Grandpa, Grandpa Smurf! Smurf. Greedy's turned into a leprechaun! You ruined my mustard pizza! He has a real beard! And he put me under this big glob of green granite! <laughs> <laughs> That was you, Hefty. Smurf's alive. Now, what's all this talk about a leprechaun? See for yourself, old timer. Smurf and Lulu. Greedy? Faith and Begara, will you stop calling me that? That's it, me lads. Come and get it. Hey, what's with the outfit, Greedy? Is it Halloween or something? No, it's time to eat. Out of the way. I guarantee this stew will keep you lean and green. Mmm, I can hardly wait! Huh? Big Laura, I could have had a few more leprechauns to make me mischief with. That was close, young whippersmurper. One taste and you would have become a leprechaun, too. Smurfaroo? You mean Greedy really is a leprechaun? Yep. I'm afraid Greedy made this stew out of enchanted shamrocks. Great Smurfs! And to think that I, Brainy Smurf, was one gulp away from becoming a little green goofball. There's no time to lose, young'uns. We must tell Papa Smurf that a greedy leprechaun is on the loose. <sighs> that was a nice Smurfy rest. I think I'm finally ready to tackle those time crystals again. Top of the morning to you, Pops! Those be mighty sparkling trinkets. Greedy? Ooh, what's come over you? What's come over you? And stop calling me that silly name! <laughs> stop that Smurf! <laughs> He's no Smurf! He's a leprechaun! And we've got him! Wrong, me lads! Catching a leprechaun's a mighty tougher task! Why do you think I have to grant a wish to whoever catches me? A wish? Gee, if we could catch him, we could wish ourselves back to Smurf Village. I'm afraid if we don't catch Greedy, we'll never get home. He's stolen some of the magic time crystals. Oh, Baba Smurf, will you be able to make Greedy Smurfy again? Hmm. Well, I should be able to mix up a counterspell for this shamrock stew if I can find the right ingredients. But can we get that jittery leprechaun to hold still for it? There's no time for ifs, ands, or buts, Papa. According to the legends of the Emerald Isle, Anyone turned into a leprechaun must be turned back before sundown. Or he'll stay a leprechaun for good. <gasps> smurf a root, there he goes! Let's get him, Smuggle! Smurf! Smurf! A dash of lamb lint, a handful of four-leaf clovers, I hate mixing on the run, but it's almost sundown. A pinch of Blarney Stone dust. <sighs> At last, my counter spell is ready. But can I find Greedy before it's too late? I'm not wasting my time chasing that little green nuisance. I've got an easier way to catch a leprechaun. I hate to waste my new bookbinding glue on that greedy gremlin. But it'll be worth it. When he steps in this sticky stuff and gets caught, I'll get my wish. Then I'll wish every Smurf back to the village, and Brainy Smurf will become the biggest hero in Smurf history. Greedy Smurf, come on out. Yeah, we just want a little talk with you. Ugh, what is this sticky stuff? <laughs> it's kind of funny. There he is. Ugh. If I wasn't stuck, I could have caught that silly leprechaun. Hey, this isn't so funny. And that's not funny. Hold it, 
greedy. I can smurf you back to normal. But I am normal, Pops. A light step and leprechaun in the greener health. Gotcha. Now you stay in put until Papa Smurf can straighten you out. You'll be needing a wee bit better grip if you want to be catching a leprechaun. Hurry, Papa Smurf. This leprechaun's as slippery as a wet shamrock. Great Smurfs. I missed my one chance to save Greedy. I'll never have time to make another batch of counterspell before the sun sets. Oh, this ought to take the spring out of that green jumping bean. And what might you be doing, me lad? Yeah! Nothing like sticking together, me lad, but I prefer being on me own. Oh, stop it. Can't you see we're caught in this stuff, you loony leprechaun? Caught! Caught? Then I get my wish. Uh, uh, not if I can get away! I wish... Oh, I wish you'd stop doing that and start acting like a normal smurf. Hey, what are you doing with my mixing bowl, Brady? Oh, I don't believe it. I wasted my one wish on you, you silly smurf. We all could have been back in Smurf Village and I would have been a hero. Oh, Brainy, but you are a hero. You did the right thing, Brainy. It was the only way to get Greedy back to normal before sunset. I am? I, I did? It was? Oh, uh, <laughs> exactly. I knew precisely what I was doing. Well, Papa, looks like things are back to normal. Except we're still missing a few time crystals, young fella. Crystals? I must be missing something, Grandpa. What's smurfing on around here? <laughs> Reckon that's a long story, Greedy. A mighty long story. Is every smurf ready? Almost, Papa Smurf! <laughs> You're just in time, Smogu. And now, so are we. <laughs> Miss Petula, nine out of ten toy makers agree that these are the finest toys in all the land. Well, what do they know? Oh, Miss Petula, I'm back. Stand aside, stupidities. I, Imbecilis Head Babysitter, will show you how to make child's play of a... Well, child's play. Here you are, my little dear. You know what to do with these, don't you? Sure I do, Fatso. I'm gonna make them fly. Petula, no! Ouch! I want fun toys. Toys like no other kid has. And I want them now, or I'm gonna tell my daddy! Toys like that don't just fall out of the blue. Ah! Is Henry Smurf all right? Hey, okay here, Papa Smurf! <coughs> <coughs> I, I, I guess it's safe to assume we didn't make it back to the village. Wandering Wombats, when are we gonna go home? I miss my dolly Smurfy Lou something awful. We all miss our home, says it. But until we return, we must look for the Smurfy in things wherever we are. <laughs> oh, don't be sad, says it. I'll find something Smurfy to cheer you up. I promise. Don't yell. Quiet, Petula. Yeah. Daddy! What's going on here? You two! I might have known! All hail, all of Stuttle! If you two Doric dimwits can't make my little Petula happy, then I'll be happy to send you both to work in my olive pits! Oh, look at the show, Sasset. It's beautiful. Oh, poor Sasset. I've just got to find something to cheer her up. Oh, and there it is. Oh, look at all these toys. And this Smurfy Jack in the Box. Smurfette's just wasting her time. Doesn't she know that nothing's as Smurfy as my dolly Smurfy Lou? <gasps> but that Jack in the Box looks almost a Smurfy. Smurfette! Oh no! Someone's coming! Take cover, Sassette! Why is Smurfette waving her arms and telling me to take cover? And why is she crawling into that Jack in the Box? <gasps> Interrupting iguanas! That's why! 
Well, I just wish imbeciles would stop toying with me. <gasps> Smurf that! Stop! Bring back my friend! Supper and Starfish! Smurfette's in trouble! And it's all because of me! Oh, I better get Bob a Smurf! Faster, Horsey! Faster! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Ouch! <laughs> Have you been? This child is riding me into the ground. Well, you said to go get the toys, so I went outside and I took the path to the beach, and then I turned left. And... No, never mind. See if you can please that mini monster. Don't even bother, Olive Griff. But Miss Petula, you haven't given these toys a chance. I hate these stupid toys. My pretty new dolly. I'm not a dolly. I'm a smurf. <laughs> and it's so lifelike. It even talks. <laughs> Let me go. I'm not a doll. But that's no dolly. Shh. If thinking it's a doll keeps that little brat quiet, then we're not going to tell her any different. I'm going to name my new dolly after me. Pretty Pity. You said it, kid. Your attitude is pretty pitiful. And because I was moping behind, this mean old man captured Smurfette and took her up to a big house. We've got to rescue her at once. Handy, you and Smoogle come with me. The rest of you must stay together and protect the crystals. But Papa Smurf, surely you'd want me on the trip for peace of mind. Why, with my vast knowledge of ancient cultures, you might need me to... Yeah, Papa, take him and give us some peace and quiet. Very well, Brainy, you can come along. And dingoes, Pappy Smurf. What are we waiting for? Let's go! I'm afraid you can't go, Sasset. This mission is too dangerous for a Smurfling. But you gotta let me go, Pappy Smurf. It was all my fault that Smurfette got captured in the first place. I just gotta save her. Because you've made my darling Pitula happy, I bestow upon you the rank of... <laughs> head babysitter. Thank you, Dad. Well, here's another mess you've got me into. Hey, Jelly Belly, leave my new head babysitter alone. And you leave me alone. I'm not a toy. I'm going to take my nap now. Make sure my new dolly doesn't escape or you're fired! Yeah, yeah, yes, Miss Pibby. You heard her stupidities. When, uh, if that blue doll escapes, your history. And I get my old job back. <laughs> Massive muskrats! How are we ever gonna get in? Sasset, sasset, sasset! Do I have to think of everything? Well, no one's home. Let's go! Hurry, my little Smurfs! <laughs> Those bull-headed guards look like they mean business. But we gotta save Smurfette no matter what. I'll teach those Longhorns not to mess with my friend. Sasset, no. I'm sure we can find another way into the palace. <laughs> I'm such a genius. <laughs> Let me go! What are you doing? Shh! <laughs> that was close. Oh no! Stop! <laughs> oh! Oh! Gee, what a nightmare! Your nightmare's just begun! That little blue girl looked just like Smurfette. <gasps> that is Smurfette, and she's in trouble. Gotcha. Let me go. Oh, 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 done. Gee, thanks, Imbecilis. Oh, 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 oh. 
find a toy special enough to get that brat's mind off that talking blue doll. So, he's looking for a special toy, eh? Well, have we got a toy for him? Hmm. I've checked every toy maker around. That little airhead heiress has been given every toy ever made. Hello? Can it be? Mm -mm. No! This is perfect. Petula did say she wanted a horsey that wouldn't get tired. Why, this is just the thing to capture that tiny, tight, spoiled heart and recapture my job. Oh, it's working out. Quiet, my little Smurfs. We're not home yet. <laughs> now this is more like it. Yippee! <laughs> Papa Smurf, I see Smurfette. Well, what are we waiting for? Aren't we gonna rescue her? Patience, my little Smurf, patience. What an ungrateful little girl. Oh, that spoiled brat has every toy made, while poor Sasset doesn't even have one Smurfy loop. <gasps> Papa Smurf and Sasset! Shh! I'm, I'm sorry! sorry. I... Shh! Save that for later. Wow, look at all these Smurfy toys! Sasset, no! Come on! Let's get out of here! For your smurf, Brady. I'm pedaling. I'm pedaling. What's going on? No! for making my darling Petula unhappy. Uh, he, he is. is. Very well. There's enough work for both of you in the olive pits. God! Oh, Sasset, I'm sorry I didn't find any toys to cheer you up. That's all right, Smurfette. Petula had tons of toys and they didn't make her happy. I guess that's because she didn't have any friends. And a smurfy friend like you is better than a toy any day. Imagine the face of Hagapatra, Queen of the Nile, on her very own Sphinx. <laughs> I haven't slept for days just thinking about it. But now I have these dreadful bags under my eyes. Not to worry, my queen. My new and improved bag lift face treatment will make you look like you have had years of beauty sleep. Good. I want that cute royal sculptor to capture my classic beauty as well as my girlish appeal. <laughs> now, how do I look? Ogapetra, oh, darling, you look très magnifique. That better mean beautiful, or you'll be back cutting camel hair. <laughs> oh, it's... Terrible! Look at those bags! But, but, my queen! Don't butt me! <gasps> Ramon! Get rid of that silly sycophant! <laughs> 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 Well, they're not exactly what 
I expected. Then again, I expected to be back in the village. I'm afraid we've fallen short of our home. Is every Smurf all right? I'm fine, but I'd be better if I didn't have to wear a dress. I hate wearing a dress. Well, we'd better start collecting all of these crystals or we'll never get back to our village. Oh, what did I ever do to deserve this? Yoo-hoo! Artsies, craftsies! Are you capturing my monumental beauty? I, Artsies, craftsies, have captured your spitting image, my queen. I know when I look at it, it makes me think of spitting. Oh, I can't wait to see what you've done with my face. Ew, you left those awful bags under my beautiful eyes. I am an artist. What I seize is what you get. Well, get this. Oh, no. I'd better bag these bags with some beauty sleep before I try another sphinx. Oh. <sighs> I think it would be a good idea if we all rested here for a while. Good choice, Papa Smurf. Oh, these pyramids are wonderful. smurf -a doodle In fact, the pyramids are considered one of the great wonders of the world. I must say, they certainly are amazing. Well, we'd better think about finding a campsite. Oh, this place is so pretty. Uh, couldn't we set up camp here? Oh, oh please, come on, we come on, come on. <laughs> well, if Lazy can sleep here, I don't see why we can't. Oh, here it is! Yeah. Beauty sleep! In order to obtain quality beauty sleep, one must acquire the pillow of a great sleeper. Let's go, Ramon! <laughs> oh, that pillow's going to put an end to these unsightly satchels. <laughs> Up, up, over! My handy teeter-totter crane was a real brainstorm. I'll do the brainstorming around here, Handy. Now move to the left. Down. Right! Are you sure you wanted more to the right, Brainy? Handy, Handy, Handy. When Brainy Smurf says to the right, he means to the right. Yow! I didn't mean right down on my toe. Can't a Smurf get any sleep around here? What's that I hear? Oh, sounds like a great sleeper to me. There he is down there. Oh, that blue rodent's pillow is my ticket to lost luggage. <laughs> Can a Smurf get any? Hey! Yay! <laughs> hey, you big pillow napper, let go. You let go, you little blue blubber. This pillow is mine. No, never. Necessity is the smurf of invention. Help! Get it back! Oh, no! Lazy's in trouble! Hang on, Lazy! I'll save you! Faster, Ramon! Faster! Help! Gotcha! Let go, Lazy! Yes! Let go! Never! <laughs> oh, my smurfy pillow is gone! You can always get another pillow. <sighs> Not like that one. Oh, I love arranging these flowers. I wish we knew how to arrange these crystals. Papa Smurf! Papa Smurf! A big ugly woman just stole Lazy's pillow! And if we don't catch her, I'll never be able to catch 40 Winks. I've just got to get my pillow back. I'm sorry, Lazy, but any contact with a human would be much too dangerous. Besides, we'll soon have the time crystal reassembled and we'll be able to try returning to our village. But I don't want to go back without my p, -p pillow 
Don't worry, Lazy. We'll help you get to sleep without your pillow. Oh, this comfy bed of lotus blossoms is sure to put you in dreamland, Lazy. I sure hope so, Smurfette. Well, what's the matter, Lazy? Oh, it's no use, Smurfette. I need more than flower power to put me to sleep. I need my pillow. Why don't you try reading one of Brainy's books? That always puts me to sleep. Very funny, Hefty. And I suppose you know how to get Lazy to sleep, Mr. Smarty Pants. As a matter of fact, I do. Come on, Lazy. After a hard workout, I get so tired I always sleep like a log. So start climbing. I'd settle for just sleeping like a plain old Smurf. Faster. <laughs> Faster. <laughs> Are you tired yet, Lazy? I'm exhausted. Great! Keep on running. You should be ready to pass out by now, Lazy. I'd much rather pass into sleep. Oh, don't worry, Lazy. I'll bring back something that will really make you sleepy. Oh, nothing's gonna work. I'll just have to get my pillow back myself. This ought to do it, Lazy. Lazy? Oh, no. Lazy must have gone after his pillow. I've got to go after him. Oh, someone turn out that light. Don't just sit there, you worthless scavenger. Pull the shade down. Oh, ah. 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 oh it's no use. I can't sleep. This pillow is a feathered failure. Just like you, Ramon. Where's that book? This polka dot pillow's just not doing the trick. If the pillow fails to result in beauty sleep, then you must capture the great sleeper himself and squeeze the sleep out of him. Let's go, Ramon. I must find that sleeper. Oh, my pillow's gotta be here. No, not this one. Oh, no, not this one either. Maybe this... <gasps> now, where could that slumbering blue beetle be? <gasps> it's him! And he's sleeping in my tent. <gasps> oh, Ramon! Lazy, wake up! That mean queen might return any second. Yeah, sure, Hefty. Just let me rest my eyes for a couple more seconds. <laughs> Looks like I'll just have to carry you back to the camp. <laughs> let me go, you feather brain buzzard! Where's your slumbering sidekick? I need to put the screens on him. You'll never find out from me, your royal ugliness. What, what's going on? We're having a little slumber party. <laughs> hey, you leave my friend alone. Ramon, get that little blue pillow snatcher. Look out, Lazy! Leave us alone! Ah! <laughs> Hey, what's the big idea? Come on, Hefty, let's smurf out of here. We made it. I hope you realize, Lazy, that you put yourself and Hefty in great danger. I know I was wrong, Papa Smurf, and you'll be able to remind me night and day, because I'm never going to be able to sleep again. <laughs> lazy, 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 you should have come to me first. I know exactly how to put you to sleep. Why, a genius like me would... My guess is that the pillow's feathers were responsible for Lazy's sleep. 
Yeah, but don't tell that to Brainy. <laughs> Very funny, Lazy. <laughs> as fast as I can and try to get us all to a smurfier place. Oh, what a smurfy looking brook. I must look frightful after all this crying. Why so sad, little one? Oh, I must be hearing things. You're hearing me, the babbling brook of Babble On. And I hate to see someone so sad. Oh, it's just that I missed my beautiful flower garden back home. Flowers? Well, there is a garden in Babylon, just over the next hill. But I'm not... A garden? And it's not too far? Hmm. I guess I can go for a little while. Oh, thank you, Miss Brooke. Uh, wait! I'm not sure it's wise to go there. Oh, oh, wait! Wait! <laughs> Look at all these bees and butterflies. Oh, there must be a big garden beyond this wall. But I wonder why there's no gate. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's worth a climb to find some... Mm, flowers! Oh, I can hardly believe my eyes and ears. A whole garden full of beautiful talking flowers. Why, it's almost like a dream. We may be dreamy, but you're not dreaming. We're the glorious garden of Babel on, but who are you? Oh, I'm Smurfette, and I'm so glad the babbling brook told me how to find you. Oh, yeah? What else did that babbling blabbermouth say about... Shh! Don't blow it, you ditzy daffodil. We got a live one here. Uh, don't just admire us from afar, Smurfette. Uh, come on down here where it's cozy and rosy. I'd certainly like to. Oh, what was that? Just the trumpet vine sounding off the noon hour, which means it's time for our noon hour shower. Would you mind? Oh, of course not. I just love tending a garden. I'm Dandelion, and by George, that's just perfect. Yeah, we'd sure like you to take care of us all the time. Oh, I wish I could, but I don't think I'll be staying in Babel on very long. Oh, Smurfette, how about turning my petals so I can catch a few more rays? Oh, I'd be happy to. Ow! Oh, uh, Smurfette, I'm so sorry. Did I accidentally prick you with my thorn? It's just a scratch, but, but I've got to be getting back. Every Smurf will be wondering where I am. I say, you will be coming back, won't you? Oh, I'll try. <laughs> oh, she'll do more than try. Smurfette, mind putting these muffins on the table for me? Of course not, Greedy. Gee, I know I used a lot of flour, but not enough to make chrysanthemum muffins. Smurfette, would you please hand me another brush? Brutally! I like planting flowers, but this is ridiculous! Oh, here you are, Papa Smurf. I just gotta tell you about the Smurfy garden I... Just a moment, Smurfette. I'm almost through. Uh, could you just hand me those crystals over there? Sure, Papa Smurf. Oh, dear! Great Smurfs! I don't understand. All I did was touch those crystals with my hand and... Perhaps I'd better take a look. Oh, dear! My thumb! It's green! This looks serious, my little Smurfette. Now tell me exactly what happened. 
And then, after Rosie accidentally pricked my thumb, I told the talking flowers goodbye and came home. Talking flowers? Oh, really, Smurfette? I think you're having heat hallucinations. Oh, brain. Oh, dear. Hey, she turned my flowery plot into a flower pot. I believe an Irish virus has caused your green thumb, Smurfette. But until I can prepare an antidote, you must be careful not to touch anything. <laughs> or any Smurf. We don't want a flower child on our hands. <laughs> I'm a menace to every Smurf. I think I'd better go see how Papa Smurf's doing with that antidote. Hey, this is the wrong way. Now, where do you think you're taking me? We're going this way. Guess not. Oh, this thumb's got a mind of its own. Whoa, slow down. I'm going, I'm going. Whoa, let me go. Thanks, Smurfness. The Irish virus antidote works. <laughs> Gosh, now we can turn Smurfette's green thumb back to blue. <laughs> I have a feeling Wild's telling us that may be easier said than done. <laughs> wild, 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 what are you trying to tell us? I just don't follow you. Over here, Smurfette, I'm thirsty. No, over here. <laughs> On the double. I say, I'm quite parched myself. And I'm burning up. Oh, oh, oh. What have you flowers done to me? Well, Smurfette, your problem stems from the fact that a glorious garden like ours needs full-time help. Now, get moving. The bluebells need ringing. And the trumpet vines... ...need shining. Smurfette! She's on the other side of this wall! We've got to get over these vines! It'll be easier if I go in alone, my little Smurfs, but I'll need a boost. <laughs> That's it, Smurfette! Make up our flower bed! Oh, oh, can I take a break? Smurfette, come with me! Oh, I think I'm gonna have some problems doing that, Papa Smurf! Whoa! See what I mean? <sighs> I see I have problems of my own! <laughs> you don't know the half of it. Hold them still. Ouch! Now, get rid of them. Oh, no! Not you, too! Whoa! This has gone on long enough. Oh, golly, looks like your antidote really works, Papa Smurf. Rescuing Smurfette is going to be harder than I thought. Well, if you ask me, we're just wasting our time. Only a flower could get into that garden. You're absolutely smurfly right, Brainy. It is? Yes, he's come up with the best idea yet for saving Smurfette. Help! This is beyond ridiculous! Me, Brainy Smurf, disguised as a silly sunflower. Those flowers will never fall for this floral fabrication. Nonsense! You'll fit right in with those babbling blooms. And when you get close enough to Smurfette, just spray her green thumb. Then both of you run out of there. Ready, Handy? Ready for liftoff. Uh, can't we discuss this? Yeah! <laughs> I say, what are you? Uh, uh, I'm a sudden sunflower. Oh, yeah, that's it. You suddenly see one where you've never seen one before. Sudden sunflowers are like that. <laughs> he sure sounds like he belongs in the Garden of Babel on. Maybe. And what kind of care do you require? Well, according to my book, Bloom with a View, I require lots of sunlight, plenty of water, regular pruning, soft soil, southern exposure. That almost sounds like brainy. No, it could be. It's just another one of those self-centered flowers. Not to mention yearly replanting, which definitely enhances my blooms. In fact, I'm a perennial favorite in most gardens. Let me borrow one of your muffins, Greedy. 
It's extremely obvious that too much sun and you'll be a wilted wallflower well before your time. Oh. Rainy, the atomizer. The atomizer? Oh, the atomizer. Now, where did I put it? Hey, this petal's painted. I'm going to find it if I have to search from stem to stern. Get him. Oh, got it. Now to spritz Smurfette and get out of here. Oh, Brainies, bring that floral phony to me. Smurfette, help. Oh, Brainy, that is you. But what are you doing in that silly sunflower suit? Trying to save you. Now get that atomizer. It's our only hope. Oh, it's hopeless. My thumb won't let me near it. Yeah. Gee, I guess a little knowledge can be a dangerous thing. Hey, where do you think you're going, Flower Face? Uh-oh. Smurfette, help! I've had enough of you, Green Thumb. I'm planting you. Take that. Let him go, you big green bully. Come on, Brainy. This is one garden I never want to see again. Oh, this would have been easier if I'd been a clinging vine. Thanks, Smurfness. You made it. Yes, Papa Smurf. And you can rest assured that I've had enough gardening for a long, long time. Of course, we wouldn't have made it if it wasn't for my brilliant idea. Hey, get me out of here. Do you know, Handy? I think that's the best way to plant a babbling, brainy sunflower. Very funny. Ah, ah smurf a tootie. This is perfect. Finally, a place where we can assemble the crystals in peace. I agree, Grandpa. I think we could all use a little rest and relaxation. Oh, yeah, 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 I agree. I have to admit, even I'm a little tired of all this traveling. I'm with you, Hefty. Life in the fast lane has me about ready to drop. Oh! Oh, if I never see another city, it'll be too soon for me. Then don't look over here, Smurfette, because there's another city down there. Only this one's Smurf size. Smurf a doodle. Looks like a pint sized version of the place we just came from. Oh, great. Does that mean it would only be half as dangerous? I suggest we not worry about cities or traveling or anything for a while. Just sit back and relax, my little Smurfs. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, it's so peaceful up here. I think I'll just sleep for days. And I, Brainy Smurf, will leisurely read from my latest book, Brainy Smurf's Tips for the Leisure Class. Put a sock in it, Brainy! Well, I never. Whoa! Yay! Yeah! Brainy! Look out! Oh! oh, 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 oh. Smurf on me, board! Help! Some Smurf! <laughs> you Smurf, stay put. I'm going after her. No, Papa. You've got to stay here and assemble the crystals. Yeah, me and Grandpa will take care of Smurfette. Whoa! Papa Roo, that looks like fun! Yippee! Yahoo! Hefty, are you all right? I'm right behind you, Grandpa! Whee! Oh, my gosh, I wonder if they'll find you. Calm down. Smurfette is in good hands. The main thing is that we keep our poison don't... Whoa! Panic! Help! <laughs> Yay! Yeah? Well, I heard Nerdo's a real geek. Who cares? He's going to be the Noman Emperor. Oh, you're right. I'll make the perfect queen. Now I will. He'll pick me for sure. Oh, I really hate this. Next up is Snotina, daughter of Proconsul Marcus Pretentious. Snotina is the founding member of the Tri Delta Smelter Sorority. Her favorite color is gold, and her hobbies include eating out and collecting slaves. No, I don't think so. Geek! 
Next. Here we have Selina, grand niece of the King of Carpetoria. Ah, here's one for you, Nerdo. Selina is social chair, no miss, at the exclusive Berber Country Club. She enjoys gladiator fights and says she'd someday like to help others. What about her? Why, she's perfect. Well... <sighs> Next. Never mind, Sinus. Nerdo, you've seen every eligible blue-blooded girl in the Empire. I have? Yes, and you've rejected every one for your wife. Under Noman law, you must choose a wife before my sixth decade, or I must choose one for you. Hello? Excuse me, you up there. You want any more of these girls spruced up right now? Because I've got a lunch break coming up in about five minutes. Hi, Anne. Oh, hi, nerdy. Long time no see. No, no, that'll be all. Gee, Pop, what about her? Her? Why, she's just a hairdresser. You silly boy. You must marry a girl of stature, of blue blood. May I suggest a bath to help calm your nerves, sire? Oh, yes. A bath would be nice. Ooh, that boy has me at my wit's end. <sighs> oh, jeepers. That son of mine is a constant worry, Sinus. It seems I'm going to have to pick a wife for him. It does appear that way, sire. Your bath is ready, sire. Out of my way, mm. wretched slave. Ungrateful swine. It's important for Nerdo to marry a true blue blood. Someone that will make a big splash at royal parties. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Who dares to intrude on the royal bath? <laughs> oh, my smirk! I look terrible! Who are you? Where am I? You are in Nome, and in the presence of the Emperor Julius Caesar. <gasps> Cytus, behold that beauteous creature. She must be a gift from the gods. <laughs> well, that's very flattering, but I'm really not at my best. Golden hair, sparkling eyes. And she has so much blue blood, she's blue. Yes, <laughs> and you make the perfect bride for my son, Nerdo. Bride? What are you guys talking about? I'm not marrying anyone. Dear lady, when the Emperor speaks, it's not a proposal, it's an order. There's plenty of toes. Ugh, smuggle That sure was fun. Gosh, where are we, Grandpa? Your guess is as good as mine. You happen to be sitting in the private bath of the Noman Emperor Julius Geezer. Shucks, that's all right. We're not picky. Unfortunately, the Emperor is. If you're discovered, you'll be arrested and fed to the wild animals. Ah, oh, well, in that case, we'll be happy to leave. Yeah, I don't like baths anyway. Oh! Brainy, what are you doing here? Well, uh, you see, I thought you would need my help, and are you expecting any more blue guests, or is it safe to dry myself now? Well, we are looking for one more. A girl, blonde, pretty. But she should have been here by now. Oh, you mean Prince Nerdo's fiance? Fiance? Boy, they don't waste any time courting around here. Actually, Giza is forcing her to marry his son. We can't do that. Oh, yes, he can. We have to save her. But we don't even know where she is. Well, if I wasn't such a loyal servant, I'd say she was taken to the royal chambers through that door. But since I am loyal, I won't tell you. <laughs> well, thanks for not telling us. Come on, Wibbers members. We've got an engagement to break. Oh, what am I going to do? This is such an awful mess. Listen, sister, this is how you told me you wanted your hair done. 
Not my hair. This awful wedding. I can't believe I'm being forced to marry someone I don't even know. Well, I can think of worse things than becoming queen. Besides, Nerdy's kind of cute in a wimpy sort of way. Then why don't you marry him? Oh, don't think I wouldn't. Oh, but his father would never allow it. You know, sometimes I even think Nerdo has a crush on me. Why wouldn't Geezer let Nerdo marry you? Well, because I'm just a hairdresser. Not that I'm just a hairdresser. I used to do Cleopatra's hair. You know, before that snake thing. Well, does Nerdo always let his father bully him around like that? Yeah. Ah, I feel as bad for him as I do for me. <laughs> Worry, you'll make a beautiful bride. That's what worries me. Wait until you meet her, son. She's blonde, beautiful, and true blue. Oh, Pop, do we have to go through this again? Bring her in. <coughs> Oops, uh, sorry. Let's hope it's not the wedding march. Come on. <laughs> She's special, isn't she? Gee, well, she sure is blue. We'll keep the wedding small. Save five or ten thousand people. Huh. I've had about enough of this. Where I come from, every Smurf is free to do as he or she pleases. Then you should have stayed where you came from. Um, at the reception, make sure we have some of those delicious cheese puffs. Yes, sire. She's kind of right, Pop. Maybe we should be allowed to marry anybody we want. Enough, you ungrateful child. I know what's best for Gnome and what I say goes. Hold on there. She's with us. Grandpa, hefty. Who are these blue intruders? They appear to be her friends, sire. But we are. And we say that Smurfette doesn't have to marry anybody she doesn't want to. I am Julius Geezer, Emperor of all Gnome. Everybody has to do what I say. I absolutely agree, Mr. Geezer. And I'm sure you want us to leave, so without further ado... Well, um, <laughs> I guess we can stay for the wedding. Why don't you let her go, Pop? She's not really my type anyway. Not all type. Whoa, what is it? The clothes? The hair? Hey, Buster, don't knock the dough. I gave her exactly what she asked for. Yeah, Dad, it's not her fault. Um... Well, listen, you big bully. Suppose we said we're not gonna let you tell Smurfette what to do. Try me. Well, uh, 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 okay. We're not going to let you tell Smurfette what to do. Gods! Arrest that band of blue rebels and feed them to the Fee Lions! <gasps> 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 um, next time, let's try to be a little less demanding, huh, guys? Get them out of here! No! Don't hurt them, please! Oh, I'll marry Nerdo! No, Smurfette! Don't do it! Yes, Smurfette, do it! Do it! All right, if it makes my future daughter-in-law happy, then set them free! Oh, oh, Grandpa! Escort those little blue troublemakers out of the city! Uh, isn't there anything we can do to win Smurfette back? Nope. Nothing. Zippo. What about your edict, Pop? Edict? I don't, uh, what, uh, I don't recall any edict. What is it? We'll, we'll do, do anything. anything. Well, sire, a betrothal may be challenged by a test of strength against the throne. Ew, I said that. I'm sure it served your purpose at the time, sire. Mm, well, then, 
Do any of you wish to challenge my son for the hand of the fair-haired maiden? Come on, Grandpa. Let me at him. That girdle looks a bit runty. I bet even I could handle him. Oh! Aha! A challenger! Gee, Brainy, I sure didn't pick you to volunteer. Neither did I. The challenge will take place at the afternoon games. You have until then to prepare. But, but there's been a mistake. Relax, Brainy. That kid doesn't want to marry Smurfette. you will probably let you win. You're right, Hefty. I scoff at danger. I can't wait to get my hands on you. <laughs> the royal family never competes. Guards, bring in Biggers! Biggers? I want you to stop bullying me around, Pop. Oh, goody. It sounds like Nerdle's finally telling his father how he feels. I don't want to marry Smurfette. Arr. That's telling him, Nerd. Oh, Nerdo! You're talking to a silly bird! Arr. Oh, if I said those things to my Pop, he'd get really mad. What about you being mad? What about me being mad? Look, Nerdo, neither one of us wants this marriage. I know, but I have to find a wife before my pop's birthday. It's gnome law. Do, Do you, you mind? mind? But isn't there anyone around here you'd like to marry? Then Brainy won't have to fight that goon. Well, there is someone. Hey, Smurfette, I've been looking all over for you. Hiya, nerdy. Hi, Anne. Um, I need to get you ready for the big fight in the Coliseum. Maybe there won't have to be a fight. I can manage myself. Why don't you two just keep the seat warm until I get back? So, I hear you're getting married. Yeah, I guess so. That's the biggest day of your life. You should be happy. Yeah, I would be if I were marrying the right girl. <laughs> Nerdo, I'm sorry. <laughs> That's okay. How do I look? It's working. Welcome to our main event. Uh, Pop, there's something I have to tell you. I, uh, I know who I want to marry. Shh! The fun is about to begin. Can I have your attention, please? Oh, no! Rainy's gonna have to fight that big brute! In this corner, hailing from Norm and weighing in at 50 stones, our own Foreman Norman Biggers! <laughs> oh, yes! Go get him, Biggers! And in the other corner, Weighing in at three stones, two and a half pebbles, the medieval milk toast himself, Brainy! But I'm too young to be massacred. <laughs> you can't do this. I've got witnesses. Good luck, Brainy! Give it the old Smurf try! Yeah, break away! Okay, you boys know the rules. There ain't any. Now shake hands and may the little guy rest in peace. Really, Mr. Biggest, I'm sure you can see that I'm a thinker, not a fighter. Yeah! Let the fast uh, games begin! You wouldn't hit a smurf with glasses, would you? Sure, he's a wonderful provider. Please! Use the net, Brainy! Use the net! This net better work. Yeah! Oh, oh no! no. Brainy's down! Uh. Yeah! Hey. My, what nice foot! 
footwear. You know, I could polish that up for you real good. Oh, please, let him go. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Thumbs up, you big slob. Destroy him! Let him live! Nado! What did you do? Nado! Yeah, Pop? Well, anyway, you've won your bride. No! I can't let this happen! Nerdo wants to marry Anne, not me! What? Tell him, Nerdo! Uh, well, uh, gee, Pop, I... It's true! And I want to marry him! Right, Nerdo? Well, I, um... Uh... Nerdo! You want to marry this servant? Hey! Watch what you're saying, you big bullhead! Bullhead? I've had just about enough of you, Sinus! Gods! Take her down to the arena! My kitty needs a feeding! <sighs> but, Pop! Keep quiet, Nerdo. You'll thank me for this one day. Maybe talking back to the Emperor wasn't such a good idea. A feline! Oh, my Smurfness, this is terrible! Nice kitty. Oh, Nerdo. Help! Now that's entertainment. For the last time, stop! Nerdo, do something! Nerdo! Nerdo, what are you doing? I'm coming, Anne! <laughs> Let's scram out of here. Go, Nerdo! Nerdo, release that girl! <laughs> I've asked Anne to be my wife, Pop. And what do you know? She said yes. You really want to marry this? <laughs> well, <laughs> I must say, I've never seen you so alive, son. Yes, if she can inspire you to courage, she's good enough to be your wife. Oh, thanks, Pop. Ah, oh, they're such a cute couple. Smurfaroo, I'm glad everything worked out for Nerdo and Anne. I'm glad everything worked out for me. I'm alive. Ah, oh, but just think, I could have been Empress of Gnome. Don't fret, Smurfette. You'll always be our queen. <laughs> <laughs>